A recent LAPD chase that turned deadly after the suspect crashed is now the suspect of a wrongful death claim. And tonight, two families are demanding change after their loved ones were killed during a pursuit involving the LAPD. They're urging police to reevaluate their policy of chasing suspects. Mm. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict has details of the pending lawsuit. It's just sad that I got to wake up knowing that my mom is not here and I can't be able to talk to my mom. It's an unimaginable loss and an emotional plea for change. LAPD needs to pay for this. Amen. I can't even sleep at night. My son is gone. As the families of Jamari Keys and Janisha Harris stood side by side with their attorneys. There was a lie to begin with. Mm. We want to make sure that the ending of this result will not be a lie, mm. that it will be justice. The two families announced their intent to file a claim and lawsuit against the LAPD and City of Los Angeles after a pursuit on August 19th ended with a crash that killed both Keys and Harris. The question needs to be addressed. Are these pursuits really worth it? It started when the LAPD says it tried to pull over a Cadillac for a traffic violation. Officers originally said they weren't officially pursuing the car, just pulling it over. But after reviewing the dash cam video and body worn cameras, they changed their tune, admitting they were in fact in pursuit before pulling back just seconds before the crash. Is it really that important to pursue someone for something minor? if there's a probability or chance that someone could be killed or permanently injured. The families are now demanding a hearing with the city council and an evaluation of police policy regarding pursuits. It is critically important to us that people understand this is not just about the Keys family or not just about the Harris family, but this is about every family in Los Angeles, California. One could clearly argue if it wasn't for the pursuit that should have not taken place, the accident wouldn't have happened and the people killed would be alive today. Something these families realize they can't get back, but they want to do their part to ensure this doesn't happen to anyone else. That justice is the last thing that we do for them that it will be served. The families plan to not only file a wrongful death claim, but one for survival damages as well. As for that driver of the Cadillac, the 20 year old was charged with manslaughter and remains in custody. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.